uh, I think most people would consider this a bit of a yawner, uh, certainly most Americans. You know, at this point, we have been debating this set of issues for so long, and it's hardly going to be a surprise that in places where we have acute national security interests, we're especially diligent about our intelligence efforts. So you could say, just let the thing play itself out. If, if WikiLeaks or somebody associated with WikiLeaks wants to try to get one more headline because some journalist associated with WikiLeaks is trying to get one more Pulitzer Prize, let them do it and ignore it. And uh, on the other hand, you have the concern that when there is this kind of a specificity to a new allegation, revelation, or accusation, that it could lead to a riot or demonstration, as has sometimes been the case before. So a lot of news organizations have taken what you just heard Michael Hanlon saying, weighed it versus this potential uh, damaging violence that they heard from, warned of from the United States government and decided not to go with it. We still don't know how many more documents Snowden has out there, how many more of these stories there are. So we could hear uh, more of these debates playing out as they get deeper into this trove of Snowden yeah, documents. It seems like it's just been drip, drip, drip. Uh, yeah. Jim, as always, thanks so much. The discussions on whether to release the name of the country took place at WikiLeaks up until the moment Julian Assange posted it on the WikiLeaks website. Anna Naidu, host of CCTV's The Heat, talked exclusively with a WikiLeaks representative about this decision. We've heard claims of this nature from the, uh, from Pentagon uh, uh, and the U.S. government before uh, regarding WikiLeaks uh, uh, revelations uh, in the past uh, when we released the information about the Afghan uh, war, the Afghan warlocks uh, in uh, October 2010, and when we started uh, releasing the diplomatic cables in December the same year. It was claimed that uh, we would and might already have blood on our hands, uh, quote-unquote, uh, the Pentagon uh, line was such, but uh, no harm came to the anybody as a result of the publication. So uh, I assume that this is a line that he uh, is, and the intercept is picking up from the U.S. government. Has WikiLeaks been in touch with the U.S. government at all before it released the name of the country? No, we know pretty well that they are monitoring our organization, and they, uh, of course, saw that we, uh, uh, 72 hours beforehand, announced that we would uh, reveal this information, this very important information, to, uh, to uh, everybody. Uh, and uh, so they knew well beforehand uh, that uh, we would do so, and uh, they would have known, of course, for a year that this information was in the hands of, hands of journalists uh, coming from Edward Snowden. Now, I just want to get into the statement that WikiLeaks released, and that statement says that uh, there are, could be more than two countries whose uh, phone systems are being monitored right now by the NSA. Uh, two countries have been named, but do you know of a third country?